Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me again today. Today we are going to be checking out Close Encounters of the Third Kind from 1977. So this was a winner on my sci-fi poll over on Patreon and then I did another poll after to decide which version of this movie I'm going to watch. There's a few versions of it I guess. So the winner was the director's cut. So this one is two hours 17 minutes. I think I've got the right one. I hope I've got the right one. Apologies if it's not but I'm excited anyway. Whichever version it is I'm sure it's going to be really good. I know it's Spielberg and I know it's like about aliens and that's all I know about it so I'm going in fresh. If any of you guys are interested in getting early access to these YouTube videos, I do put them up usually about a week early over on my Patreon, so you can check that out below. I also do the full-length versions, I watch some exclusive TV shows and movies, and I do polls to decide what I watch, just like this movie. So, if you're interested in that, go ahead and check out the link below. And if not, no worries at all. You guys know I love hanging out with you here on YouTube and chatting in the comments. And it is just super helpful for me and the channel if you could give a like and a subscribe. I really appreciate it. Let's get right to it. I'm excited. Here we go. Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Okay, I have like a shiver already. Now, are these going to be nice aliens? The music would suggest no. I feel like creepy stuff always happens in the desert. I love maps. You guys know I love maps. They're all there! All of them! What is it? Very hard to hear. And the music's pretty loud too. Thinking maybe like the actual dialogue isn't super important right now. What the hell is happening here? It's flight number 19! Planes were reported missing in 1945. What? Understand? Let's grow! Hey! 1945. I have shivers everywhere. That's freaky. It still works. He says this guy is local. He was here last you night. He saw it happen. What happened, old timer? In there for stuff. He says the sun came out last night. The sun? He says it At sang night? to him. Contact 134.4. The only traffic I have is a TWA. Area 31 has traffic 2 o'clock, slightly above and descending. I have no known high altitude traffic. Uh, they don't know who it is? It's gonna be an alien. It has the brightest uh, anti collision lights I think I've ever seen. Traffic now looks like extra bright landing lights. Primary target now in your uh, 10 o'clock position. Man, you don't hear in movies people talking over each other very often. That's interesting. Traffic is turned. He's heading right for my windshield. Five zero now. The traffic is approaching head on. Now, that was really close. EWA 517, do you want to report a UFO? Over? Are they EWA gone? EWA 517, do you want to report a UFO? Over. We don't want to report. I wouldn't know what kind of report to file, Senator. Muncie, Indiana. It's gonna get spooked by aliens. This is a little bit creepy. All his toys are coming to life. Well, they're turning on. Yeah, I'd be freaking out. I think it was ghosts, maybe. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go outside by yourself, bud. Go get your mom. Oh, little buddy. I'm afraid there's gonna be a jump scare here. Go get your mom. I hope this kid's okay. I don't know how scary this is gonna get. Like, is she gonna go downstairs and the kid's dead? Mom, go after your child. I don't understand these fractions. One third of it is across this switch here. Another train is coming. How far do you have to move this boxcar off the tracks quickly, Brad? There are thousands of lives at stake. <laughs> well, now you've murdered everyone, Brad. I don't want this stuff on my breakfast table. This Not even noticing the kid in the back. Toby, you are close to death. Come out of here. You 
can Don't find love that parenting, golf, which if I'm being honest. Waiting, and where you can see Pinocchio, which is a lot of furry animals. Now let's vote. Go! I need your old man on the field right now. Oh, I know. Roy can't drive at night without me. That lady looks like Phoebe's mom on Friends. I think it might be. We're losing power across the grid. Here he is. Yay! Here he is. Here we go. Mass blackout. Barry! Barry! I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Season paper maps. Different times. I don't think I'd be able to get anywhere without GPS, to be honest. I mean, I'm I'm sure I could, but I would get lost a lot. You're in the middle of the road, jackass! All right, Lindsay, let me stop you to the single circle. And Mary Tim. Um... So there was a spaceship behind him. Five, ten. That's effed up. Everything's going nuts. Does he know it's aliens? Yeah, what do you make of this, bud? What is that? <gasps> Jesus, oh my god. <sighs> I feel you, Roy. Oh my god, it's following him. Ugh. A little creeped out. I mean, they didn't hurt him. All they did was flicker the lights and stuff, but... Oh, creepy. Who is this? Lady, I'm sorry. I, I didn't even see him. Hello? Get a hold of your child, woman. Are those things raising for the aliens to go through? Yeah. He's chasing them too, okay. Dude. Holy. Do these guys know what they're dealing with here? I have chills everywhere. This is freaky. He doesn't seem scared. He's happy. This whole, it, went, it, was a, it, it was a red wash. Well, Governor, <laughs> I want you to call you know, me right away. As long as you want me to the work. You wanted to get out of the house anyway, right? Well, not at 4 o'clock in the morning. I need you to see something with me. Come on. We're going on a little adventure. Get up. up <laughs> both. Come on. He's waking up the whole family at 4 a.m. Oh, boy, you're sunburned. Look at you. Wow. From the lights? This is like an ice cream cone. What flavor? Orange. <laughs> It's more like a shell. I mean, like, what does he want her to look at that he brought her out there? There's nothing there. He saw them leave. Don't you think I'm taking this really well? Yeah, I was thinking that. <laughs> Another desert. Something creepy's happening, no doubt. I think it's a spaceship. The tension. I need to know. Show me what it is, for goodness sakes. What, a ship? Like like the planes? Is it a very old ship? It's the coat of boxing. Why is it here? UFO is over five counties. <laughs> Out of my house. Well, that is a I'm weird sorry. sunburn. What's he looking at? Tell everybody that you fell asleep under the sunlamp. What for? Are they for real? That's what for. 
Don't talk about this until you know what you're talking about. That kid is always in the background doing something crazy. Just trying to get attention. I saw something last night that I can't explain. I'm going out there again tonight, you know. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Something tells me a yes, yes. I can't believe it. You got fired. They didn't even want to talk to you. They told us why. What is happening? I hope none of that dialogue is important because I can't hear a GD thing. Where did these sounds come from? Tell us, please. All right. Hi, yo. Get out of here. Okay, explain some of that. We say it means something. We think it means something. I am using the head sign created by Zoltan Kodai to teach music to deaf children. Huh? Would be cool if they communicate through music. That is cool. I like that. Oh, hi. How are you? You got the same burn. Oh, yeah. I got to tan the other side tonight. Uh, he's a little young for a record. She just leaves this kid wherever, huh? I've been seeing this shape. Shaving cream. What, like a little hill? This means something. <gasps> are they back? It would appear so. Like Halloween. <laughs> Trick or treat. They're not frightened though. I'm friendly, yeah. Oh, is this just a helicopter? Oh, bummer. The sound in this movie is so intense. It's so loud and then so quiet. 60 seconds of silence and then an entirely new set of numbers. Where are these signals coming from? Right in the neighborhood. We've been sending out this musical combination. All we're getting back are numbers. It's a message! This is cool, but I don't know if these guys are sophisticated enough to crack it. What do you got? What, what letter is 104? This first number is a longitude. Nobody thought that it might be coordinates. Good lord. We're going to need a geodetic survey map of Wyoming. Can this kid talk to them? Are they gonna like all be led to a place? Are they back? They're back, they're back. Holy! I have shivers everywhere! No. Uh, are they nice or not? You can come and buy them. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, they're gonna find a way inside, lady. Oh my god! Oh my god. I would be crapping my pants. Okay. Alright, well they're gonna get inside. Oh. Just call someone. It's gonna be behind her. Is this a horror movie? Oh, buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Grab his leg. They just come for the kid? Jillian, Jillian. Is it true you're leaving the state to look for your son? This is a flying saucer. It's a flying saucer. Made in Japan and thrown across the lawn by one of my children. Oh. What? Come on. 
Last year, Americans shot more than seven billion photographs. Where is the indisputable photographic evidence? I wonder how many photographs we're shooting now. Can't even imagine. And our cameras have never been able to take a picture of a plane crash and then get it on the six o'clock news. That's a good point, sir. Why don't you guys just admit that the Air Force is conducting secret tests? I don't know what you saw. You can't fool us by agreeing with us. I saw Bigfoot once. Yeah. 1951. This is the problem. Is he drawing the mountain again? I think it's a mountain. I don't know. Special jumpsuits. Man, I should have worn that as a cosplay. I get white knuckles just thinking about what might be ahead. Do a survey of dams and reservoirs in the areas and tell them what's going to burst. Contaminated water. Fix people. Kind of disease. Plague. Nobody's gonna believe in plague and anthrax. There are a lot of sheep up on those hills. So they're trying to figure out a a cover story. But it may not evacuate everybody. Trying to what evacuate. What I need is something so scary it'll clear yeah. every living Christian soul. What are we doing? That kid might be my favorite character in this. Is he gonna make it into a little triangle? I think you have enough, man. Well, he's acting kind of crazy. The aliens are obviously in his head. They're all making the same thing. Are they gonna abduct him too? This is dad's nuts. I'm still dead. I can't describe it. This means something. What is it? Dude, it's losing it. What is it? We had that exact playset with Tell those me. those swings like that. Oh my goodness. Open the door, please. I don't think I know what's happening to me. It's family therapy. Why? Yes. Everybody stops screaming at each other, how about? I want you to help me. Just... I just hate you, that's why! Just hold me. No. Just put your arms around me. Girl, get yourself together. He's obviously struggling. None of our friends call us anymore. One. You're out of work. You're oh, God. Us. That is some dysfunction. It looks like a pile of crap. A very special pile of crap. Ronnie, everything's fine. A haven for UFOs. Canada shout out. Now I use my secret weapon. Eureka. But what? Roy. What you doing? Sorry about last night. What are you doing? You gotta love it, Ronnie. What is he doing? Roy. What is he doing? Uh, if I don't do this, that's when I'm gonna need a doctor. No, I mean, I'd be very concerned about his out. behavior too. You just listen. You ever look at something when it's crazy, and then you look at it in another way, and it's not crazy at all? Oh. Come on, Ronnie. Come on, Ronnie. What is he doing? Take it. I'll pay you for this. Take it. You listen with this fence right yeah. now. You come with me. Taking the kids to my sisters. It's crazy, you're not even dressed. Is that what? You hold it one minute. I need to know what is wrong with this guy. What is he doing? What is wrong with me okay. today? What in the f is he doing? These aliens have messed him up. At Devil's Tower, Wyoming, the dangerous chemical gas oh, went off the rails. That'll get him evacuated. Anything. We can't talk about this on the telephone. All right. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. The first national monument erected in this country. Civilian refugees are fleeing the area. That's freaky. There's close to the disaster as we've been allowed to get. Okay, we gotta get to this mountain.
or big rock. I don't whatever it is. We gotta get to this hill. Thousands of others are among us. All right, we're going to Wyoming. A gas mask. Why even? Look at that dog. dog. Oh, how did they spot each other in that crowd? I have no idea what's gonna happen. They're gonna get to the hill, then what? I told him he wasn't in the river. He wasn't in the river. They asked me if I'd seen any strangers. <laughs> Is it the hill? What are they gonna find at this I hill? Dead animals? <gasps> this whole thing is put on. It's true, the army could have killed those animals. According to my birds, the only bad air around here is you guys farting around! Farting around! Huh, my parents used to say that. How can we go together? Watch your step. Realize the danger that you and your friend have risked. There's nothing Bum. wrong with the air. I just know, there's nothing wrong with it. I want to talk to the man in charge. Even hear, hearing a persistent uh, ringing. No. You having headaches, migraines? Yeah. Look at this. Yeah, I got one just like him. Who are you people? Monsieur Neri, please, one more question. Do you think he knows? We had a close encounter with something very unusual. Regardez bien les visages de ces gens. Do you see these strangers to you? Except for her. Please. What did you expect to find? An answer. Is that all you're, you're going to ask me? Well, I got a couple of thousand goddamn questions, you know? You have no right. <laughs> to make people crazy. If this is just nerve gas, how come I know everything in such detail? Who the hell are you people? I need to know about this hill. <laughs> All right, let's see what's up. 12 people to the decontamination camp. I'd like to know why. Because this means something. These people have come from all over their country. Why? This is a small group of people who have shared a vision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why they are here? Even they do not know why. Why are they here? This is mysterious. <sighs> There's nothing wrong with the air around here. I don't know what's happening either, and I must find out what's going on. There must be hundreds of others also touched by the implanted vision who never made it. Mm. Coincidence. It is an event sociological. Oh, they're just gonna run up the mountain? Okay. Okay. My name's Mary. Larry, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't like to do this, but if you can't get these folks off the mountain and start dusting with EZ4. Same stuff that we use with a livestock. They'll sleep for six hours and wake up with a hell of a headache. Oh, okay. They put the livestock to sleep. So they're gonna dust the mountain. <laughs> Like, no, what's gonna so happen? When you get to the top, there's a 300 foot drop straight down. I never imagined that in my painting. Next time, try sculpturing. He seems to know the mountain better than the other two. Call the dark side of the moon and tell them we're gonna die. <laughs> Larry, come on! I don't think Larry's gonna make it. <laughs> oh, the gas. All right, you'll be all right, Larry. You'll wake up later with a headache. It's all right. Oh, Come on, Roy. Move your ass. Come on. Yeah, move your ass, Roy. <laughs> what? What is it? For the love of God, what's on this mountain? Okay, check the speakers. Oh. Testing. What are they doing? Three. Testing. I have no idea what they're doing. Okay, watch the sky, please. Oh my goodness. Behind you. All ground personnel. What's gonna happen? Can we talk to them with music? What are they gonna do? Yeah, played exactly like they were playing it. Kick at me. Ooh. 
Yes. Oh my god, chills. Did y'all do the in music? I mean, that's it. Mission accomplished. Ooh, what is this? They're back, they're back. Are they in big trouble? Are they about to get blasted? Whoa. What are they doing? We can't stay here. I can't. Barry's not here. I can't, I can't stay here. Jeez. What is gonna happen? Oh boy. I hope they're friendly. What's gonna happen? Roy, I hope you're not about to get blasted. Your shades. If everything's ready here on the dark side of the moon. Oh my god. Holy hell. Oh god. Huh? He's talking to them. What's it saying? Five quavers or four semi quavers. What are we saying to each other? Yeah, for real, what is it saying? This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. We're taking over this conversation now. This is like, this is not what I thought this movie was like. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It's the pilot. Frank Taylor, welcome home. Captain. Let them go. Disappeared off Chicken Shoals, Flight 19. Matthew McMichael, Lieutenant. Einstein was right. Einstein was probably one of them. Just all the people that have been abducted. <gasps> the baby. Baby. What do you want? I just want to know that it's it's really happening. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you see me running after you? I was going to speak about Mr. Neary's case. Run up inside there, man. Says these are ordinary people under extraordinary circumstances. <laughs> Poor babe. <laughs> hmm. I envy you. Yeah, why was he brought here? For what? It's opening back up, it's opening back up. Why, 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 why? Okay. Um. Oh boy. We can count on your complete cooperation. What type of blood do you have? Why were they asking him those medical questions? May the Lord be praised at all times. Grant uh, these uh, pilgrims, we pray, a happy journey. They may safely reach their destination. He's going to? They chose him? I have chills all over my entire body. Uh... <laughs> they chose Richard Dreyfus. I mean Roy.
Okay, guys, well, that was Close Encounters of the Third Kind. And that was really surprising. I, I didn't have any idea what to expect, but I really didn't think it was going to be like that. Yeah, I don't know, just the whole ending. I mean, I think I thought there, that there would be like sightings and stuff and spaceships, but I don't think, I, I definitely didn't think like Richard Dreyfus was going to get taken away in a spaceship at the end. And like we would see the aliens. I really thought it would be one of those movies where you just sort of, you know, you see the spooky stuff, but you never see, you never get any answers really. So I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting, but that that was crazy. I can't believe I haven't seen that before actually and I can really see how this movie would have influenced all the other alien movies after it for sure. So that was intense. I think for like the whole last act I was probably like it was just stunning. I just really didn't expect it to go down like that. I really thought it was cool that they communicated with the aliens in music. That was awesome. I love that. If we ever have any kind of alien situation in real life, I really hope we communicate with them in music. That would be so cool. Uh, music or math, you know, all that stuff. Well, it's all related. So that would be so cool, man. I will give the MVP to Richard Dreyfus as Roy because that was quite a journey for him to make it all the way to that mountain and then get chosen and he seemed really happy so I don't know I just thought he was good um you know he was really angry and unhappy in his marriage I think in the beginning and then he you know went kind of nuts there it seemed but he wasn't nuts it was he was called to he was spoken to he was supposed to go to that mountain and get taken by the aliens so man yeah he gets the MVP for sure low-key MVP I'm gonna give to the little boy because he was a trooper and was never scared it seemed like he was just curious and uh also felt compelled to go with the aliens so yeah that little trooper gets my low-key mvp and the worst award i don't know if there was a worst in this movie like there wasn't really a bad guy hmm interesting just on first thoughts i really don't have a worst for this movie so i'm gonna give no worst award this time it's possible i'm gonna remember that there was somebody terrible in this movie but i don't think there was anybody terrible so okay no worst award this time that's weird right no worst award must be a good movie when we got to the end of this movie it just kind of felt like i wish we could i wish now uh, there was a sequel i sort of feel like we just started this story i need to know what happens to roy when he goes up in that spaceship man i can't believe that's the end i wish there was a close encounters too and we could uh we could see what happened to roy maybe they'll make a tv show they should make a tv show all about what happens to roy up in the spaceship but yeah overall this was a really good one it's such a classic sci-fi i can see now i'm really happy that it won the poll and i got to see it it was very good and very cool a lot different than i imagined really interesting just a really cool ending i just i i loved it really appreciate you guys voting in the polls and picking this one good call it was awesome and i loved it so really happy i saw this one thank you guys so much for watching along with me today i really appreciate it i had a great time i hope you had a great time too and i'll see you next time bye guys excuse me could you get your head off of this microphone please Excuse me, do you mind? Are you my love?